Hey, good morning, everybody. So, here for another shade. Gonna go with the Savile. GD. And, uh, I was on the fence on what to use after my, um, my recording kind of messed up yesterday. So I was thinking maybe I'll use Katie's again, or maybe I'll use one of the new Declaration uh, grooming soaps that I got in, but this came in the mail, and I smelled it, and I got really excited, and that is Ariana Nevin's Grecian Horse, um, this is based off of the Cologne Parfums de Marley Pegasus, and, uh, on the website it's described as a fougere with um, some almond and vanilla. Uh, personally, I've never used a fougere before, so uh, I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, it's really well blended. Um, the the almond and the vanilla don't really like stick out to me, so uh, if you aren't a fan of almond, um, this may be something that you can try, but uh, you know, scent is subjective, so just to my nose, the almond doesn't stick out, but if if somebody sometimes like when you really don't like a certain scent um it tends to stick out to you so if you're just not a huge fan maybe but if you absolutely detest almond um maybe not but yeah for me i've got it bloom but yeah that's just it's nice and fresh and cologne -y. um it's uh everyone describes it as like a fall winter scent and you know, it's pretty much summer, but whatever. So we'll wipe the face. Get the bloom water on. So in the States here, it is Veterans Day. So um, just like to give a quick shout out to our armed forces. So anyone who is currently in the military and any veterans out there, you know, thank you for your service. Um, it's a big sacrifice and I feel like sometimes it they uh, don't get the appreciation they deserve. So, uh, again, thank you. And uh, to all my viewers not in the States, I hope you guys had a good weekend because over here we do get that three day, you know, some people don't really get that three day weekend like me but I don't really get a weekend anyway. I did have yesterday off though, which was cool. So uh, I've said it before, and I will say it again. I love the Ariana and Evans 
goat's milk and canal lanolin. Oh my goodness. Goat's milk and lanolin base. I kind of wanted to say tallow there, so I said tad tallowin, I think. But uh, yeah, this base is amazing. Great slickness, great cushion, great post shave feel. Pretty much top marks everywhere. Alright, first pass. Get my sideburns nice and straight. My sideburns are though. One real thing that kind of irritate me with my hair because when they get long, man, do they get bushy. And for those of you who doubted, it was morning. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure no one doubts it, but... That's proof. Okay.
got ladder again. Awesome first pass. Scent is still nice and strong. Well, mid strong on the soap. Make sure the hands are nice and dry. Oh, so I forgot who mentioned his name in, I think, my straight razor tutorial. But uh, I just watched Caleb McCullough, and they were talking about uh, how fast he was. So I uh, got to uh, check him out, and man, you guys were not lying. Speed and technique are very impressive. I was uh, watching Maddie, uh, Maddie Lindholm, another guy who's real fast. Oh, I'm not going to go away. I thought I was one. I saw another whole half of the face. And, uh, yeah, Maddie's real quick, too. And, uh, it was really nice. Gave me a shout out. So I appreciate that. Maddie also gave a lot of other guys a shout out. Real nice of him. So he was going to a uh I think it sounded like a uh eighties metal uh music festival. And he said there's gonna be Iron Maiden, I think he said Ozzy would be there. So, that sounds awesome. Really like Iron Maiden.
not like the uh, people who wear Iron Maiden t-shirts and have never heard of them. I always think that's hilarious. So this edge is still awesome. The one thing I was worried about with it was ruining it when I stropped it because with the uh, technique for the shave, I can kind of get an idea of what people are doing just based off of looking. And you know, I know to use like light pressure, not the press. But with, with stropping, I know, um, I mean, people have said some like slightly different things. Like some people have said, don't press, no pressure. And then I watched uh, Lynn Abrams and he said, you know, don't be too tentative with it. And so um, I'm still a little unsure on uh, how much pressure you should be putting as you strop, um, I think I've pretty much got it down as, like I said, um, with that, with the GD, it's still cutting, so I haven't taken, I haven't rolled that edge, but, uh, it's still one of those things that I'm still a little unsure of at this point, like, I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm doing it right, but uh, I feel like I could possibly be doing it better. I mean, that's how I feel about everything, I'm not saying. I mean, no, there's not room for improvement on my lathering or on my shave technique, you know, there's always some room for improvement everywhere, but it's one of those things that I just don't quite know. So I just added a little bit of water. Don't really need to for the third pass, but whatever. Um, Finish up. So as far as purchases go, I have one last thing for maybe a little bit on its way. My girlfriend's trying to cut me off and I found out that she watches so she'll see this and be like, no, but it's too late. It's already coming. <laughs>
long. That feels pretty good. Yeah, one of the things I'm still having a little bit of an issue with is trying to decide how to hit my chin. So, I've been tending to try and do a cross grain, but then I notice it's not as close as I'd like it to be. I mean, is it acceptable? Definitely. Uh, it's, at the very least, DFS. I mean, the only time I do notice um, some hair when I go uh, with the cross grain, so double cross. So with, um, with my second and third pass, I do a cross grain. Um, the only notice I do, or the only time I notice hair is when I really push up, so it, it is acceptable, but with the rest of the upper half of my face being pretty much BBS, I just like to try and find a way to get my chin BBS as well. So that way it worked right there, but if you notice when I um, came at that that left side with the with the heel right there, it kind of bunched up. It didn't irritate it, but um, it's kind of something you're not really looking for as it's an easy way to potentially get yourself cut. And there we have it. A little bit longer than I normally run, but not in a rush, so no big deal. Probably because I'm rambling too much. Oh, uh, I mentioned this in my video that I got messed up yesterday. When I'm in between passes and when I'm done, because my, my sink space is a little smaller, um, I'll take my towel that I have right here I'll put my razor in it and I'll fold it over and I'll let it sit under the towel in between passes um, so that when I rinse my face, I don't have to worry about water getting, you know, onto the hinge pin or, well, it's mostly that hinge pin. It's the one place, uh, you really can't get water out of if you get water in there. So with the scales, you can, um, you know, I did promise I'd show this, but uh, one day soon. But um, with the scales, you can use a piece of toilet paper or if your towel is thin enough, which mine isn't, the, uh, the corners are a little too thick, but, um, yeah, so you use either toilet paper, paper towel, your towel, something to uh, put it in between the scales and um, and dry the inside. And then you can, you know, wipe your blade down with that too. Oh, that smells so good. I think I might have to buy the, um, Ariana and Evans has a partnership with, I believe, Alexandria Fragrances, and they have a, uh, 
Pegasus clone that also shares the same name, so we went with the aftershave splash. And man, does that smell awesome. Peter does a good job on his splashes as well. Yeah, Poche is excellent. Yeah. Wow, oh, okay, great shade. Oh, like I said, a little bit long, sorry about that. But um, yeah, so uh, just one last thank you to all the, uh, the military out there. So active duty and veterans alike. Um, I know it's Memorial Day and we are honoring our, um, you know, our deceased war fighters. But uh, I just like to give a shout out to the uh, active duty and veterans as well as, um, you know, you guys deserve the respect too. So uh, I hope everybody's having a great day. So you non uh, people stateside, uh, happy Monday. And to everybody else who is in the States with me, I uh, hope you enjoy your last day of your three day weekend. Uh, so just have fun, stay safe, and I'll uh, see ya.